Hey guys, Francine here at Devoted Danes. Uh, today, I'm actually doing some maintenance, upkeep, stuff like that. Our little guys have gone home, all of them, and even our last little lady that we got back that my husband called Penelope. <laughs> actually, uh, she found a home too and she has gone. That's Eva, also known as Beaver. Fiona the Queen, if you're new here, she's the anarchy of the bunch. She's almost 10 in May. And Lady Eleanor taking a snooze while I'm working. So what I'm doing today, I'm little guys, but they're they're our youngest. We had I wanted to paint their ceilings. I had a um, AC I put in the window upstairs and it, it made a stain on the ceiling. So it's just perks of an old house. You put it at AC and you get a a stain on there. And this is the girls. This is actually we've actually moved people around a little bit. We have some updates that we've kind of been quiet about. Um, but you know, I guess we'll. Uh, this is violets. So I just put their beds up so I could paint the ceilings and not get paint on it. And I, this is where the water stain is, and you can see it. I've already painted it a few times. I got to go over it again. I guess I got my my uh supplies out and benny is no longer in that kennel she's got a big girl kennel now uh she's actually over here so we have benson um geez, violet and daisy but i've been painting so i've been i kicked the little turds out the little scoots and i did do if you guys remember a few videos back we did uh linoleum on there well they chewed it out <laughs> So that's why linoleum's cut like this because they actually had a good time and chewed it all underneath. So I this is the red barn floor that came with the house. And it's cool because we do have a 1700s house. I like it. Excuse me. The only thing with this is I'll have to maintain and keep painting it like I have to do the hallway stairs because um, their nails scratch it. But other than that, it's, it's not a big deal. But we just put this down to kind of try to protect the floor. And as you can see... Not every idea works. Yeah. So I'm going to take a break from painting and kind of just give you an update of what we're doing around here. Uh, we did find a home for our last little puppy that we got back. Um, most of you might have known that. Some of you didn't. Um, the lady that took her, like I had in the last video, she took two of them. And it just was a little bit too much for her. So I said, go ahead and bring her back. So she did. And we had her for, let's see four days and then we found her a new home so she's in her new home so officially if all, all the puppies are gone all 20 of them that we had here so um we've been wanting to do a lot of uh ideas that we had but you can't when you have 20 puppies and my hair's a mess because i'm sweaty and painting um plus i was painting some other scenes once i get going forget it i have some spackling to do um we do have ideas to change out our whelping areas because we only really have one good whelping room and we we kind of need to because a lot of the girls if you notice go into heat at the same time so you either breed two or you skip one and then when they get to a certain age you don't want to breed them they have to get to a certain age to breed them so it's a constant like kind of battle what you want to do so we are going to do that undertaking but um like i said in there why i'm actually painting is because the ac leaked because our windows are super old i almost feel like they might be the original windows so we do have a huge project of getting all new windows through our house um obviously we live in new hampshire so we can't get them um, right away but we order them and then they will be here in the summer to install and we have like 25 windows in our house so that's going to be a lot of uh, moving our babies around and stuff like that but we've been thinking a long time and we really need to do it the windows are just awful and it's an old house and those are some of the things that you endure so just our little update about like devoted danes i know a lot of you um may or follow us or don't follow us i i don't know but um we would like you to follow us if you don't um we did have well let's just do a backstory so um 
Well, we first started Devoted Danes like in 2012, I believe is when we started Devoted Danes. And we started out small and you know, we always felt like we wanted to keep all our Danes forever and ever and ever. And we do, we do, we love our Danes, but we have come to the huge understanding that that's not quite possible because um, like I said in the beginning, um, sometimes the Danes, I gotta set this down, it's killing my arm. Let me see where I can set it. So like I said in the beginning, um, if you, you, we really love our Danes and we always planned on keeping them, but in order to move forward and continue breeding, we really can't do that. So we've decided, I mean, this is something that we've battled over for probably two years now. Um, we've been uh, pretty much aware of Diesel being sterile for a couple of, at least we, at least a year now, but it, we've um, finally made the decision to neuter him and we did. And we did talk about um, finding him a new home and we actually have, Diesel has been gone from us for probably close to a month now. And um, we have a whole nother story with Diesel, but we won't get into that right now, um, maybe later. But uh, so he's actually, it was the first one for us to rehome and it was really hard on us. I cried after he left, but I was really happy to know the, I know the family that he went with and I was super happy that he went with them because I knew that he would be happy there and he has been. They send me updates on him and he looks so happy. He has another brother from our, um, from us also um, that he lives with. So Diesel has a play buddy. Dave, Diesel's really playful and, and super sweet. So it actually um, went smooth for that part, for him being rehomed and everything like that. And, um, you know, and it really did take us a long time to come to that agreement, me and my husband, about Diesel would be a great candidate for a new home because he has no really bad quirks he has quirks but they're all like um doable like he likes to steal blankets and pillows he only likes to go down the stairs on one side so just certain things he's a super love bug um just like little funny quirks like that he doesn't have any bad quirks so we would never think about placing one of our adult danes into another home if they did have uh, quirks that i thought were would be too much for somebody else so um, we do have Danes like that. No Dane is perfect, no human's perfect. Um, so with all that being said, we've decided to start moving forward and um, we are gonna be placing some of our adult Danes in new homes, not, we're just not, it's not gonna be all of them, obviously. It's just gonna be, you may see one here or there every once in a while that we're looking for um, um, a new home for them. Um, our next one that we have, that will be we will be looking for a new home is Maggie Magnolia Maggie do you've probably heard me call her a million things she's just like diesel she's super sweet she loves everybody she just loves attention uh, Maggie's never had puppies um, so she's not really retiring um, she's just going to be placed into a new home uh, Maggie does has gone for her pre-op for her surgery for her spay every dog that we every one of our Danes that are adults that we will be looking for a new home will be either spayed or neutered they won't be intact um, so we just feel like that's a responsible thing to do and um, as you know as everyone may know or maybe you don't vet care has gone through the roof within I don't know within the last six months our vet has gone up a couple times they've also got bought now and do like a franchise now uh, we still have the great care from them and we still have the same people that work there the same vet that works there but the prices have gone up twice since the last well since Kayla's last letter went home and our last letter which I don't take personally because I know that's just how the economy is everything's super expensive you got to pay your you know your employees more or else they can go somewhere else so I understand that aspect but so obviously, you know, 
our our prices have for our Danes have gone up a little bit too and um so in that's just the way it works but just for spay and neuters um like diesel went his was like six hundred dollars to neuter him and for a female and we just take we take these to a different vet because our normal vet just doesn't feel comfortable and they don't do really big dogs um so we do take them to a, a, our um reproductive vet and in their main um they do regular stuff too and not just reproductive so they'll do like some of the reproductive surger surgeons will do the surgeries um so maggie's had her pre-surgery and she goes this week for her spay so she'll be with us for a few weeks or however we feel like she needs to heal and then we'll be looking for um a new home for her uh, we are selective with these because they are they have been with us maggie just turned four um she's still like she would she still goes out and plays she's very puppy like um she's super sweet even we got tons of compliments going for her pre-op getting all her blood work done um for her surgery everybody couldn't believe what a well-behaved girl she was and she really is she's uh super sweet um so um oh and then like a female spay is at least a thousand dollars um for our last one for eva was like 1100 so maggie's i'm assuming will be in the same ball figure she's a hefty girl she's like 143 pounds um but we just feel like this is the proper thing to do i don't want to send her to a new home and then then somebody have to pay that price um so we will do that um and if honestly if it's somebody that we feel that is a great home um that's our main thing for our uh re rehoming or retired girls or boys is just to put them in a place that they're happy so we're not really looking to um you know have a huge rehoming fee if some of them we we probably won't even have a rehoming fee to me my main concern is just getting her into a home where she's happy and she's a happy girl um so it, it is hard but um after i saw how happy diesel was it made it a little easier and the families do keep in contact with us um so it would definitely be somebody like that we're looking for somebody that's going to keep us updated on how maggie's doing magnolia and um and and you know not every day but just once in a while hey this is what she's doing or just let us know how they're adjusting even with the puppies that go home you guys we really do wait for you guys to to give us feedback on how they're doing i mean it's it's hard because like even um uh, the little one that came back we only had her a few days but we already got attached to her and i was like oh you know but we we are not looking to get any more dogs right now we're actually looking to just downsize a little bit and um having more free time for the ones that are here um another thing that changed is my husband works from home now he doesn't go to a nine to five job like he used to we both um where we both worked we usually both worked from our home but now my husband uh, starting in january has working from home and can move around his schedule to to do like vet visits i still do some during the day because i still work from home um but uh devoted danes really is a full-time job we have you know everybody that follows us knows we have quite a few uh pups here and um like ellie eva fiona there are really our seniors and they'll stay with us um so we do have some that we won't be looking to rehome either their quirks are too quirky or we're just no we wouldn't do it to them i mean like ellie's eight she's with me for life and so with eva and fiona but from now moving forward this is something that we'll want to do uh, periodically we may be looking to rehome some of ours from our main uh pack so um it did take us a very long time to come to the understanding that if we wanted to continue doing what we do that we have to like we have to do this to move forward so it doesn't mean that you know anything like and i would like i said before i would only place dogs that i know will have be fantastic with other families so obviously diesel was one of them and um he does come from an outside breeding so i did talk to his um his breeder 
and um, she's fantastic. And I actually have two dogs from her, uh, two Danes. Um, um, Violet comes from her too, and Violet is super great too. She has a great personality. So I always do that. I'm we always try to be transparent, but we will be having Maggie um, spayed this week later on this this coming week later on she's scheduled and then we will be looking for a fabulous home for her um we you know we love her so we and then we will we will do like a trial basis if it doesn't work bring her back uh, we don't want you know it not to work if it doesn't work we understand we do that with our little dogs too our little danes um, we also are licensed so we have a policy that the state sends out x amount of days if it doesn't work you return them back to devoted danes i don't have a problem taking them back um, when they do get older like you know two or so it's in their adults if i don't have um room I will be let you know and say I can help you from here and rehoming and stuff like that. I have taken quite a few back here, but um, like I said, my house getting full, so um, we are trying to do that. We're trying to. We will assist anybody though. We always try to do that. So our main goal is to, for our puppies to be in a home where they're they get all their needs and they're loved. So that's the bottom line. We do have a lot of, like, still, we still have our outdoor projects. And being in the winter, it's really hard in New Hampshire to try to get anything done outside because you only have X amount of good weather. It's not like the south where you have very little snow. Like, we have gotten, I don't know how many snowstorms um, in this last month. And we're getting hit again. This uh, is called a nor'eastern. That means when you hear that... I mean, you're getting a lot of snow, so we're going to get another foot of snow. And um, it's actually almost, you know, we're setting our clocks back, so we're close to spring, but we're it, it won't last. That's the only thing that's got me holding on. It's not going to last because um, spring is right around the corner. So I'm hoping it's going to melt, but we shall see on that so we did have this lassiter that went home our first time ever we did ship we shipped a little puppy to california leah everything went well um so it was kind of you know something new for us and interesting we have had tons of puppies sh shipped to us but that was our first time shipping out so um we did it went off without a hitch so and she went all the way to california and it seems funny they send me updates which i love um, of little Leah and walking in grass. I'm like, oh my gosh, she's never even seen grass living with us. Um, so that's kind of funny. Um, um, when Cheska goes into heat again, we will be breeding her. Um, she did fantastic. Um, her first litter, she whelped them all natural. She had 12, 10 surviving. Um, and then in the fall, um, or late summer, a Violet will be ready for being breeded, bred. Um, Violet actually has already had two heats, so she came into heat early. Um, normally, you, we could breed around the second heat, but she just got our first heat so young. The second heat, she still wasn't quite the age that we wanted. We um, we like to do it close to two years old, but sometimes it's a, a, it, as long as it's past a year and a half and closer to the two-year mark. Um, we're pretty good. Our studs we do use at a younger age. Um, they have to be over a year old and we will use them where a female is more like a year and a half, actually pretty much closer to two years, but sometimes we'll do it a few months shy. The reason being is everybody does what they want with their own line. I feel like Danes, you know, after a certain age, you probably shouldn't breed them because it just gets harder on them to whelp. And, um, so we do what we feel is best for us. Um, you, I always tell everybody, you do what works for you. We do what works for us. But we are trying to... So it's always a lot of things like maintenance-wise, like trying to do painting. I had to put them outside because it is... I have to use some stain um, killer for the ceiling. But um, yeah, and then let's go look. So now we have... Daisy May, Violet, hi bye, in Benson, she's in a good, big girl, big girl kennel, and uh, I have started switching out the conundra bed, so she has one, hi, 
Hey, pea girl. Isn't she the cutest little thing? Look at those eyes. Yeah, I know you was outside playing for hours while I was painting. Yeah, I did. Bye, bye. Violet will stand up on her hind legs. <laughs> she's such a big moose. Aw, yeah, she's a big girl. Oh, she said, I'm gonna do it. Hi, yes, I know. You're a sweet thing. She comes over here for kisses. Hi. You can take a nap. You've been outside playing for an hour. Probably actually more than that. But she's a big girl. But she has a bigger bed. Uh, probably going to end up having to change out those two beds for these guys too. Huh? What do you think? Yeah? Okay. So I've got the whelping room. I've gotten cleaned out. Uh, everything's taken out. Sanitized. Laundry I have to do. and But I want to organize these closets better. I feel like I'm losing a lot of room in them. But yeah. It's all quiet and empty. The puppies are gone. little scoots here you go chubby so this is maggie do the 143 grizzy now is up here with the girls he's not really big on treats he rather he's more of a people person there you go anyway but in case you want it later they were just outside hi chask she's the mama of the last litter so i just vacuumed out everybody Get a drink, buddy. Yeah. He doesn't mind being up here. I don't mind being with the girls. Yeah, I don't mind being with the girls. So he was the father of the last litter. Him and Cheska. This is Maggie, their other roommate. Hi, Maggie Do. Yes, you already ate your biscuit as fast as could be. Yeah. So I try to put stuff in there to occupy them. They all have a little bit of toys and whatnot. Yeah. Yeah, I'll have your toys and whatnot. <laughs> They like to bark at each other. Gives us something to do. Grizzy likes to bark. She's over there eating her treat. So he, oh, she said, found something else good in there. So they went out and played. They had their breakfast. These ones take little clips that just clock them because these guys can get their, they're smart. Oh, they get your gates right open. I don't know if Grizzy can. He never did downstairs. He had the same, same setup downstairs. We have it in here. These are eight foot. Six foot high, four foot wide, and eight foot long. So they have room for to get up and move around their beds. In the summer, we put AC in here. Uh, yeah. Huh. Now they're gonna start barking up. This is Mag. I mean, I know. Sorry, Nala. Nala. So I have to do this. So when they're outside, I'll vacuum and clean up in here. I know it's already hot. I, these guys actually have a pedal fan in their room, so we leave it on because the sun comes right in, so it gets hot. We go outside, Abigail. It's not hot out there. It's full of snow. Are you thinking about stealing the stuff? Yeah. Hmm. Go ahead. Come on, bye. Out of there. That's not your spot, you big moose. Puppies are all looking. So this is one of the puppies that we ended up getting back because the owner ended up with two and it was just a little too much for her. So she's been with us not even a week, huh? Mm. A few days. We got her Thursday. Um, so almost a week. No, we got her last weekend. Yeah, so less than a week, but we have found her a new home. So we're hoping everything works out. But the girls, she's been actually hanging out with all our Danes. Um, so this is, everybody knows Daisy. Oh goodness, oh my God. It's just a sign you're gonna be survived. Yes, your little tail hit it. It's okay, Benson. It's okay, Benny. You girls ready to go potty? Yeah, you big moose. So they're all just checking her out and she's been playing with the cat. and. She goes out potty with Ellie, even Fiona. She's been doing great with her potty training. We've been, because she's the only one here, she's nine weeks old, so we've been putting her outside for potty training and she's doing awesome. She goes right out, comes right back in. She's got the routine down packed. Does she down yep, she does the stairs. We've been calling her Penelope. <laughs> but we'll see what her new owner actually names her. So, you guys wanna go potty? What do you think? Checking out all the kids' stuff? It's actually cold, but 
Uh, some of the snow is melting. Are you playing Eleanor? Yeah. Sunny out. Go enjoy the weather. Go enjoy the weather, big baby. Look at that face. A face your mother could love. Oh, Benson. I'm going out and see. Hi, Beeve. Good girls. Go on, you too, little muskrat. Little muskrat. Yes, you. Little menace. These guys all get along pretty well. These are all like all girls. Grizz is actually with a new tier now. He's he's hanging out with Cheska and Maggie Do for now. He likes it. He's been he hangs out with these guys too, but they all get along pretty well.